Homemade Hi, dinner Timmy. rolls, dining on a dime cookbook, because we're with the Homestead Network tonight. What? The Homestead and Network? And every homesteader should know how to make delicious dinner rolls. Don't you agree? Yep. <laughs> I agree too. What? How do we go up to 115 and now we're back down to 76? Did we actually go up? I didn't see that. Yes. Hmm. We're live on YouTube. People, come back. We're funny, they say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we on YouTube? Yep. Okay, so I'm making 90 minute rolls today. Dining on a dime cookbook, page 75. Go to your index right now and look up 90 N I N on page um page 470. Go look up 90 minute rolls and change it from 77 to 75. <gasps> Gasp, we have a typo. What? Yes. Then we should have a recall. <laughs> <coughs> I recall can... those defective books before somebody has an accident. I cannot ship all those books. I'm sorry. I no, can't but what do if they're it. trying to make uh, 90 minute rolls and they end up making chocolate cookies? And they end up making yeah. cinnamon rolls and stuff. Cinnamon rolls. Oh, well, that's all right. Just so you okay. guys, just for clarification. Hi, Robin from Cleveland. Dave was trying to make cheeseburger rolls, and Mom ended up telling me to do the 90 minute roll recipes first mm -hmm. so that we can stuff the stuff in. And I found out that instead, the page that they gave was like. Was well, the, the wrong, wrong page. page. Dave found that typo. Yes. I'm amazing. Okay, so I'm in legit, my everybody. in my measuring cup here, I have two tablespoons of butter or margarine, whichever you want. You could use shortening if you want. I have milk and water. And in case you don't know this, on your butter and margarine, it has tablespoons. So if you go by tablespoons. You can just lop off one little section and each one of those is a tablespoon, just in case you didn't know that little information there. Oop. Okay, so then I'm going to microwave this until it's very warm or put it on the stove or however you want to do it. And you want it to be about 100 and a, to 120 to 130 degrees. Now, that is super hot for yeast and normally you don't want your yeast to be that warm, but we are mixing it with other, other items that is going to cool it down super fast. So you still want it hot enough to, what is that on the spoon? It's coffee. Oh, coffee. <laughs> oh, yuck. Um, oh, I bet all the German Did you put just... the mop head on Instagram? Yes. Oh, they were saying they'd just seen that. Um yeast now I buy my yeast in big bags it's usually like five or seven dollars somewhere around there and then I pour what I need in my little container and then I freeze the rest now I don't know how well this is going to rise tonight because I think my yeast is on its way out because I'm gluten free so I don't bake that much anymore oh dear I think I just got my stuff too hot because I wasn't paying attention okay so <gasps> yes I did like soldering iron at school. Oh, Tara. Do you want to tell them what's Wait, going on? Wait, you stuck your finger in it before you used the yes, temperature thing that you had right Dave. on the table. Stop pointing out the obvious. <laughs> Dave, can you hand me two ice cubes, please? Okay, so I got my... Now, I'm using my soap measure thing, but you should be able to put your finger in there and have it be very warm but not so hot you can't hold your finger in it. Wow, these new towels. So Amy said, no, you can't have my book back. <laughs> Just go fix the typo. Page 75 instead of 77. Okay, let's see, how are we doing? So I'm putting two ice cubes in here to cool it down. Whoa, that got cool fast. Okay. Yes, that's much better. Um, okay. Laura Esta told me to remind you that not all countries have cute little sticks of margarine. In Canada, it's mostly sold in plastic tub of one or two pounds. So oh, interesting. Do you think that would be? Okay, so perfect. 125 degrees, that's what we want it. Pouring it in here. So did you see how I saved that and I didn't have to wait 20 minutes for it to cool down and all that, guys? All right. 
Now, I have my sugar and my salt in here, and it goes in. And then, sorry guys for the blurriness. I am putting in just a quarter of a cup of flour to start. Okay, so I keep a one cup measure in here in my flour and then I just do that. Okay, so now we're gonna beat for two minutes. I'm not gonna do the whole two minutes, but let me at least get it put together. <laughs> wants to know if the ice cube affects the recipe no it's like an additional tablespoon of water it's not going to hurt anything um okay so you mix that for two full minutes now part of what makes this recipe so great is the beading helps it's kind of kneading your dough a little bit to get started so you're kind of pre-kneading your dough okay so you're gonna do that for two minutes then you're gonna add another quarter cup of flour and do it again for two minutes Okay, so that's only like 30 seconds, but you get the point. So then you're going to stir in enough leftover flour to make a stiff dough, which is approximately the two cups that's left. Not quite. I start with a lower end, like one and three quarters. And then I add a little bit more. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So, take your spoon and stir it in. What was your question? Oh, uh, Charmin asked, I just she said I just received my cookbook. Can you tell me what the difference is between soda and baking soda? It's not, I, that's another typo. Soda in, let's see. There is not a recipe that uses Coca-Cola soda in the book. It's all baking soda. Even though we've, pre I'm, I'm not exaggerating, we have proofread this book at least 20 times. We hired three professional people to proofread it between our publisher and us and yeah. So I'm sorry guys. Actually, what we should do is go through and have everybody find a typo and have a giveaway for all the people who find typos. <laughs> for you get next free, printing. You get By the way, we're two-thirds of the way through the books. Oh we just got in September, so that's good. Okay, so now I am just kneading this in wow. the bowl. Okay, so like so. Dave, can they see what I'm doing? Well, my camera obviously can, but I don't... Your camera's looking in the bowl? Okay, so I, what I do is I just bring it up. Oh, dear, I got too much flour in here. And push down, bring it up and push down. And you want to lean towards less flour instead of more. You don't want it to be really sticky, but you don't want it to be super stiff like I just messed up and did. So I could add a tablespoon or two of water. Oh, I probably will. Okay, hold on. Let's see, what can I use? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Okay, I'm back. You didn't have to be on duty too much there. Is this the digital thermometer you're using? Yes. Okay, we had a request. Okay. So I added just a tad more water because I overshot my flour. All right, so now just knead and knead, push down, flip it over. Now I got too much water, oh Chris, brother. I just realized it's February, isn't it? Today is February 1st, happy almost Groundhog Day, my favorite day of the year. And we have that off too. <laughs> but we do have Groundhog Day off. You do and not have day Groundhog off. Day off, it's tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah, you're gonna stand do. in front of the school with a protest sign if you do. 
Because <laughs> mom doesn't want any more days off. <laughs> mom wants one full week of school since Christmas. Okay. So this is what your dough looks like. Nice and smooth. Well, okay. I'm not making it look very smooth because I'm messing with it. But it looks smooth. So how I rise it the easy way is I spray the bowl. Bloop. And then I flip over and I spray the top. And then, ooh, sorry. Then I just put a dish towel on top and let it double in size. Oh no, I forgot a step. You seriously didn't. No, I seriously did. I forgot the... Is it an important step? Well, yeah. Okay, well, so I'm gonna let this rise. And I have the buns in the oven. Ah! <laughs> you better not be careful not to. I was not say, my bun in the oven. You better not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Although maybe we could persuade some teenagers to move out. <laughs> Ooh! Hey, there you go. Um. Okay, so. <laughs> Joyce asked if water hurts it. Water hurts what? I think the dough. No, I have water already in the dough. Okay. Yeah, there's water, so I had my, so when I first started, we'll let this rise for just a little bit while I'm answering questions, and then I'll put it in the pan. So you want your pan to be greased also. Boop, ta-da, okay? And then when I go to make it, that's what I'm gonna do. So I had, in my original little cup here, I had, this stuff is good water milk and my margarine did i not say that maybe i didn't say that and that's what i had and i made 120 degrees then i put it the yeast and the flour all in the bowl and started mixing this stuff is good. now i don't pour the yeast right on top of the really really hot water usually what i do is i'll put the water down first and then the sugar and then the flour and then the yeast just so that the water's kind of cooled down just a little bit for um it doesn't kill the yeast so <clears throat> you like my smoochy lip i do mom brought this back for me should we smooch mm -hmm. um michelle yeah. and kelly you're both asking you to restate what you were making tonight i am making 90 minute rolls on page 75 in Dining on a Dime Cookbook. And it's the most, it's a really versatile. Sharing the link again, guys. Really, really versatile uh, recipe. And. Oops. Um, what was I gonna say? I make my cinnamon rolls out of this. I make my, like if I make pocket sandwiches, I'll do it in this. So I'll do several different things with this same recipe. Use it for pizza. Guys, guess what? Can I say this? What? It's kind of off topic from what you're saying. Well, well you need to be. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I just had a. Okay. Yes. So she's a mean and horrible person. Oh, thanks. She, she specifically told me that I could help her make the first candle. And, and didn't. she didn't keep her word. I'm sorry. You're mean and horrible person. <laughs> I forgot. So, so you can make the next one with me. What color do you want to make the next one? I have no idea. A swirl? A swirl? Can you make it a <laughs> that swirl? could be different. I don't know if you can do a swirl candle. I've never seen that. So you guys can see my woodwood candle that I made yesterday on Facebook. It's working really good. So I wanted to show you guys that. Does that look pretty? I like it. It's like my own little mini fireplace. It is. It's making a sound like a fireplace. It is. I should hold it up to the mic. Here. Yeah, don't burn see. the mic though. Can you guys hear it? Here, hold on. Okay, everybody be really quiet. <laughs> Doesn't that sound relaxing like a fire? Um, now, let's see, where was I? Cinnamon rolls. So, to make cinnamon rolls from this, as soon as this is done rising, I'll show you, because I, I make cinnamon rolls with it. So I'll make the second batch of cinnamon rolls, but I just let it rise and then I punch it down, just push it down, um, make it into little balls and then I put the balls in there and let it rise 15 more minutes 
and then I bake them. And I have some in the oven that I'm going to pull out. They're almost done in about 3 minutes and 27 seconds. <laughs> Sullivan Homestead wants to know, do you guys have a recipe for the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits? Yes, I do. The Red Lobster Biscuits are on page, let's see, I think we have them on the website too. Wait, can I hear it? I can't. Um, oh wow, that is cool. Just don't set the house on fire. Okay, as I'm using this every single day for the show, I'm finding that the publisher did not do a very good job on the recipe index. <laughs> okay, here they are. No, that's not them. Hold on. Let me get there just a second. They're here somewhere. <clears throat> they are on page. The cheddar biscuits. Here. Nope, muffins. There! Page 95. Garlic cheese biscuits. These are the same ones as red lobsters. Yes. See? And they taste like red lobsters. They are super delish. <laughs> Karen said, I got my book for my daughter today. She doesn't know she needs it, but she's going to love it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's, that's she a nice She doesn't know to... she needs it, yeah. Just don't don't mention that part when you give it to her. <laughs> yeah. You say, here, I just thought you would love this. <laughs> it has so many great recipes that are easy to cook. Yep. For people like you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so if you guys are part of our newsletter, and if you're not, Michael put the link to sign up. Oh, that's my cue. Today, we did the Romance <clears throat> Your Husband Challenge. What? What? So I we... don't need that one. <laughs> that sounds concerning. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> If you do, we need to have a discussion. <laughs> Not yet. But you can try the biscuits in just a minute. Biscuits? Um, or the buttons, the dolls. Oh. Um, so, today in the newsletter, we had a challenge to romance your husband one way every day for the next 14 days. Whoa. Think sure, everybody will be able to do it? Sure, yes. Can you make this Are you going to be able to do it? Mom. <laughs> Sherry said, can you make this recipe in the bread machine? Yes, you can. You just don't turn on the bread machine. But, <laughs> I mean, don't bake it in there if you're making rolls. I guess if you're making a loaf of bread, you can. I don't know why not. It's got all the bread machine recipes. Oh, Jake's asking how to get a copy of the book. Uh, Jake, I am going to share the link right now. Already, if that's on YouTube, I already did. Okay, oh, you already got, shared like, it? I know it says 40 oh, okay. seconds, but we got like two more minutes, okay? Do you want to answer some of the other questions? Sure. There aren't very we many. have like two minutes, and we'll pull them out of the oven, and I'll show you. Um, Dave's getting hungry. Ver shot, so. Veronica says good day to everyone. Tara, I love the Aussie apron. Thank you. Amy T gave me that. And we need to sing to Shelly. No. Shelly says, hi guys, it's been a while since I've been on. Hello, We're uh, on off lately, but everybody's doing well. She Do says, it. my birthday was yesterday. I just turned 51. Oh, no. Wow. Are you, you ready? Saying, yep. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy Happy birthday, birthday dear Shelly. Shelly. Lives not very far from us. We should have taken her a cake yesterday if we would have known. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Chrissy wants to know if you can use a KitchenAid mixer for the recipe. Yes, you can. Okay. You can use any mixer you want, uh, and it works Beverly, just fine. Beverly wants me to ask you what you forgot. What did I forget? And your recipe. What you? What did I forget something? You said you forgot so something I, in the recipe that was important. Forgot oh, I forgot the next step to show you what it looks like when it's risen. So I'm letting this rise for just a minute while I'm answering questions, and then I'll show you the next step. Uh, at the moment, everything looks pretty good to uh, me on this end, but a couple people mentioned buffering. Or, that was at the um, beginning, I fixed it. And it appears to be working right now, but. We have had some trouble, we think it's because of our internet provider, and so we have a piece of equipment coming that should be here before Friday to try to make sure that doesn't happen anymore. So if you're experiencing trouble, oh, the lusciousness. sorry. Oh dear. Oh my. Sin says dinner rolls for cheeseburger rolls, Dave. 
<gasps> okay. Oh, they look delicious. Don't touch the pan. <laughs> Come over here, boy. Does that not look oh, delicious? <laughs> that does. Wait, Dave. Oh. Did okay. they see it? Just yeah, a second. They saw it. Hold on. Yay. Okay. Well, they're hot. I just <laughs> took them out of the oven. Hold. Hold. Oh. Well, I know, but you'll burn your tongue off. You gotta have this now, rush. what I do is take butter and put a little bit on top because we like soft tops. Oh my goodness, you guys. You They've just... all got plates. No, this guys. isn't for this. We're going to have to make another batch if we want to have one after the show. Okay. BJ? Mom, did you see he just not smacked you with a plate? I did see he just smacked you, so now maybe he should have to give you a kiss on live TV. Nope. <laughs> or whatever this is called that now. That is cruel and unusual punishment. Whatever. And it will definitely hold up in court. Yeah, whatever. Our camera guy has abandoned ship so he can okay. make toast while Mom is making the best dinner rolls ever. <laughs> I just like these. Okay, so. These are like... <laughs> really? Uh, Cherry wants to know if you can make this recipe in the bread machine. Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. Look at that. It's so hot I can't even touch it. Ugh. Ah! Okay, well normally you wait till these cool, but since they're all lined up... Well, do we want to wait a minute and just make them wait? Just smack me. They, tell them they have to do an interview for the readers before they can have one. Oh, okay. I'd be willing to do that. I'm Dave. <laughs> Readers, viewers, <laughs> friends. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Two, Go on. three. See? Three. three? I'm the least yeah. appreciative person of the family. <laughs> no, it's just I'm a joke. I'm always last. <sighs> okay, Jack, you're going to have to. I'll just go throw this plate away, away then. Get over here, boy. Jessica okay. wants to know if you ever figured out what was happening with the red mop head yesterday. Okay, so no, the, I said we don't want to spoil it. So the red mop oh, is head secret? is some sort of video that BJ is doing on the 007K channel. On the 007K. Okay, so my dinner rolls are all done. <laughs> all right, so I did not let this bread. I didn't let this rise very, very high here. It should be double, but I just want to show you a little tip here. So when you take your dough to make your buns. One way to have a nice, see how the top is nice and smooth and there's no cracks, but see how the bottom has a crack? So one way or the way to do it is to take and pull it around the sides and fold underneath until you get a nice smooth top. And then that will be a nice smooth dinner roll. Nice. Isn't that mm. nice? Uh, Charlie wants to know if those are like a, a bun or a yeast biscuit. These are biscuit. good. It's like a bun. Wonder it's what, like a, a bun. Is a yeast biscuit a lot different? It's a yeast biscuit is different, yes. Mm. Do you guys want to interview me? I would be willing to do that. Um, is Lynn on there? I did not see oh, Lynn, okay. but I, I'm a little behind on the Facebook side. <laughs> Gina says, boys. <laughs> so, Lynn, that crazy gal, look what else she sent me. It is gnome duct tape. Is that not the cutest thing ever? <laughs> that is super cute. <laughs> and then she sent me something else. I peeked. I couldn't resist. I like getting like presents. here, by the way. Oh, thank you, guys. <gasps> Gina said her birthday was last week, and she oh, didn't yeah, get a song. That. Oh, Gina. Gina, Gina, Gina. I am so it. sorry. Okay, hold on just a minute and we'll sing for you, Gina. Okay. And then she sent me this. Hold on. Is that not going to look cute on my computer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that where you're going to put it? Yes. Nice. So cute. I am so happy. I love gnomes. Gnomes make the world a happy place. Mm. Yes, they do. Don't you agree? Okay, you ready? Yeah, very good. House. They're very good? Mm -hmm. Did mom do a good job? Yummy, yummy hey, dinner rolls? Could you, could you... These rolls mom made like once a week growing up. They were just so super good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, you ready? Yep. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gina. Gina. We're sorry you missed your birthday last week. Happy birthday to you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Woo! Yay. 
<laughs> Did you tell them they almost last, lost me after the show last week? Or last Monday? Yeah. <laughs> I did uh, not almost tell them. was not here today. Today we would have been announcing my funeral. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got a piece of chicken stuck in my throat. No. I, I was about to post it on Instagram so you guys could see it. But Dave I was, was like, nah, I was joking to death and Dave was filming it. <laughs> because I saw John had it all. <laughs> he thought Mike had it under control. Oh my goodness. Ellie I and I were both trying to, to get it under control. <laughs> oh, it took me forever. I couldn't get that thing up. <laughs> hmm. Jonathan said, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake, baked a cake, baked a cake. <laughs> there you go. Um, I did. Corrine asked you oh. to repeat what you're making tonight, and somebody else is asking what we're having for dinner. Oh, <clears throat> so, along with that, Matthew's on the chat, along with the rolls that are all gone, <laughs> I am making <gasps> my famous slow cook roast. So, I'm going to tell you how I do this. The smell just popped because, right out of there. Uh, it is so simple, it's not even funny. It's so delish, Dave. Stand okay, by. here we go. Unboxing time. What if it's like a big piece of charcoal? It Ready? Be. One, two, three. It's oh! Guys, it's black. <sighs> okay, show's over. <laughs> it's time to eat. Okay, This so. is the most delicious recipe ever. This is Rest my slow-cooked roast, and you can see, look. Can, are they, can they see? It just literally falls apart. So, I'm going to tell you how I make this because, you know, it's just so super complicated. What? How is that complicated? <laughs> it's not. Okay, so this morning I took my roast and this was just, it was like $1.99 a pound roast. <clears throat> super, super, super cheap. And I... Plopped it in my baking dish here. Oops, see, you can see it's even falling off the fork. Here. Okay, so I'm romancing my husband. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> oh, mm. ow, that hurts. Mm. Is that delicious? That is so delish. Um, One I of plopped, my most favorite recipes. Plopped, is this yours? This is your favorite too, isn't it, Jack? I plopped my roast in here. Give me another one. It's not that how is you not the ask. way to ask, Mr. Cool. David, Joshua. Um, you may not have one. Can I please have you. another one? Oh, Lynn I'll, is on. Sorry. I put my roast in here and then I sprinkle with my seasoned salt. And I put the lid on, or you can put foil on, and I bake it all day long for like eight to ten hours. And then it turns out all luscious no, like this. See? So did Lynn see what I got in the mail? I didn't see. Well, she says yeah, they look nice, but I don't think she, I don't think yeah, she's talking about that. So Lynn, I see what Mom, you sent okay, me. One. Okay, David won. Wow. Lynn sent me this in case she missed it. Now, isn't that cute? You are such a sweet viewer. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I'm going to put this on my computer. Thank you, Lynn. That was so nice of you. I had a happy day yesterday when I got it. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to go ahead and open it because I was just too excited. Yes. Me and Dave, they've got a half and then a full. Oh, they Heidi Cunningham is here. Last one. Hello, Hello, Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Mm. Well done at the oh, man. Hand. I think we should just eat dinner now. Let's just is your other half the back, Heidi? Sorry. Let's see. When he was, he was supposed to come back yesterday. Yesterday, I think. So I'm going to show you, because I'm out <clears throat> of my famous seasoned salt, I'm going to show you how I make it. Now, oh, I forgot to get the link. Homemade seasonings link. Okay. Mike will get you the recipe, and this is in our Dining on a Dime cookbook on page... Three. Let me see. Seasoning. On page 305, this is my homemade seasoned salt, house salt, whatever you want to call it. But here's how I make it super easy. I just take the jar that I usually keep it in and I fill it about halfway full of salt with just salt. 
Okay, so it's about, ooh, I did a little bit more, but that won't hurt anything. Then I pour in approximately, oops, wrong one, approximately a tablespoon of onion powder. I'm gonna share the link now, and guys. And then, because I got the wrong thing there, I do about a tablespoon of garlic powder. And then I put in my black pepper. Oops, haven't even opened this yet. Of course, mom's perfect, and she just has to dump in at a random amount and knows automatically. It's called it's... being lazy. Oh. Um. Hmm. Okay, so then if I can ever get my pepper opened. Mm -hmm. ugh. Okay, then I put about, oh, I don't know, a teaspoon or so of pepper. And then this is where the magic happens. You guys want to see the magic happen? Okay, so see all the different layers in there? So then make sure the lid is shut and I just roll. Put on your favorite rock and roll music. You get it? Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm doing pretty good for having a meat green today, aren't I? You're getting a little slap happy there, woman. Uh, okay, so then just keep <clears throat> mixing it around until it just mixes together. Now, usually I only fill it up to here to give it space to mix, but since I put too much salt in there, Can I stick this for like 10 seconds in the microwave? It's going to take a little bit longer. But, all right, so there we go. Now, see how it's all evenly mixed in there? Doesn't that look nice? Oops, there's a little bit that needs to... And then, I use this for all of my seasonings. Uh, thank you. I do this for all of my seasonings. And... There, my pepper got a little bit stuck on the top because it got too full. But that's what it looks like. So I use this for fajitas, for seasoning my hamburger, for seasoning, um, what? <coughs> for seasoning everything. I just use it for everything. Then I don't have to drag out all three containers, four containers, every time I want to cook something. So, there you go. And then for dinner, my eye is twitching. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so then for dinner I will slice up a cucumber and I just go like this. Oop. And we'll have a cucumber with some baby carrots or some pepper slices. And we'll dip it in ranch dressing. And yes, I've already washed this pre before the show, so don't go freaky on me. And um then I'll have this, so I'll have some fresh vegetables, dinner rolls, and a roast, and dinner will be about $5. Because we don't eat that whole roast, usually we have leftovers for the next day, and I make beef and noodles out of it, or I make beef stroganoff, or I make <coughs> stew, oh or goodness. something like that. You know those, so, things, those little, those firefly things that fly off from when you have the An bottom. ash? What was it? I saw those little, if you see there, tiny ashes flying off of it. Oh, great. Yeah. Are you want some roast? Are you starve? Oh, dear. I didn't mean to do that. Are you starving, Marvin? Yeah, I want a roast. Uh, Jean asked, uh, Jean said, hi from Wisconsin. Those rolls look really good. Do you have the recipe on your Facebook page? I don't know if it's on there, but I can share it in the, in the comments here. Sharing it now. The, uh, um, Kathleen wants to know, did Mike do the Heimlich maneuver? No, because I was still able to breathe. <clears throat> well, I coached her to breathe again. Sort of. Yeah, he had a good idea. He had me breathe in and then breathe out really fast. Breathe in real slow. Yeah, and breathe out real fast. And then it popped it back out again. So it was kind of strange because I could still kind of, I could breathe, but not very well because... It was like stuck three quarters of the way in there. I know, I'm starving. This, <laughs> it's like this, all I can do to keep this, from eating. This this stuff tastes like it's made with milk, but it's not. Made with milk. Nope, it's not. You <laughs> can put a you can put a can of cream of mushroom soup over the top, which is how I used to make it before I had to go gluten free. 
So, so Kathleen asked, do y'all never feed those kids? Oh, well, you know what? We starve them until the show so that they yeah. eat a lot and make <laughs> us look good. <laughs> okay. Not really. <laughs> but, and Tara uh, said, hashtag love for Dave. <laughs> hashtag love for Dave. Yep. Miranda wants to know if the candle has a scent. Yeah, this is Amish quilt. And I made it on yesterday's Facebook, so if you go to the videos, you can watch me make it. You can watch me also get all over a lady for getting mad at me. Uh-oh. Yeah, I lost it. On the live show? On the live show! Tara unplugged. It was. Were you banging the table and stuff? No, but I was telling her a few things. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> yep. Um... Sherry wants to know, are the garlic biscuits recipe on the website? I did not yes, see them there. they are. Uh, is it just in the regular biscuits, or...? Type in garlic biscuits. Oops, okay. Uh, let's see what else I can find while I'm looking for that. Um, mm -mm. You already said what we're making tonight. Uh, Karen wanted to know if this is the same recipe you used to make the cheeseburger rolls. Yes, so this is the same dough I make cheeseburger rolls out of, I make pizza out of it, although I do have a pizza dough recipe that's really good in here. It's just got... The pizza dough recipe in my book uses olive oil and garlic powder and basil oh. in the dough so it makes it more flavorful, but... Is this the one? Yes. Okay, But sorry. I use it to make pocket sandwiches and cheeseburger rolls and cinnamon rolls and everything. Oh, we need to change the picture on this one. Yes, huh? I forgot who Did asked. I give you too much? Sorry. The garlic cheese Since you just had four and a half rolls. <laughs> um, mm. Sherry. Three and a half. Sherry, I'm going to share that garlic cheese biscuits. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is good. Okay. Hmm. All right, I shared that for you, and I'm going to share that on YouTube also for everybody else. Okay. Uh, so how should I romance you tomorrow for my romance challenge? You could smooch. <laughs> oh, I said something funny in the newsletter. You guys want to hear it? Cool. Tell them to go look at it in the newsletter. <gasps> <gasps> but if they aren't on go the ahead. newsletter, then they wouldn't get it. Go ahead. I don't know if it sounds as funny if I just say it. So I said in the newsletter, you need to romance your husband because a smooch a day keeps the divorce papers away. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, look, the view count just went down. <laughs> Maybe we need to romance the wife after that comment. Hey, now I've been doing that. <laughs> you have. I have flowers yes. right there to prove it. <laughs> yes. Oh. What do you want? So oh, Karen, who said that she got a book for her daughter earlier, she said she's a good cook, but everyone needs dining on a dog. <gasps> yes, they do. Thank Yay. you. Oh, and Charlie said 12 days in the hospital, finally home, weak but home. Glad you're home, Charlie. Sorry you're not feeling well. You're learning about fractions in school? Uh-huh. In second grade? Uh-huh. Wow! Learning. Man, that's cool. Can I show them my sticky note that I made? What is it? Oh, yep. One quarter. You can show them. See, he made a one quarter out of a triangle. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I uh, figured out that if you put a different, another triangle inside a triangle, it would make four even parts. I did not know that. Interesting. Rhonda said, do you check to see if your spices are made in a gluten-free plant? I don't. She said, I learned the ones I was buying weren't, so I had the lady do some checking and found that McCormick's is made in a gluten-free plant. Well, apparently that. these say may contain milkweed and soy, although weed. my wheat isn't. I'm not celiac, so as a matter of fact, hopefully soon <clears throat> I won't even need to be gluten-free. Mindy's asking, how long does Crisco last and how do I know if it's gone rancid? It will smell bad. Yuck. It smells really bad. Like poop. Mm-hmm. Mm. Crisco will last six or so months after the expiration date. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is another one that I did. And what is it? Four sixths? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what is four sixths broken down to, do you know? Two thirds. Two thirds? Yep. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's see, I was going to look for more over here. Hey Mike, oops, made grandma's barbecue sauce today and simmered it first. Sweet and sticky, it's delish. Yum! Says Lori. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<laughs> Corrine said, you have any leftover rolls with three boys? Wow. I don't have any leftover They're rolls. Gone They're now. gone That's because yeah. it took me five minutes to read the comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tara, I need cooking for two. We're empty nesters. Says well, Joyce. just divide everything in half. Oh, that's I mean, a good idea. That's what I did before we had kids, was I just took all these recipes and just divided it in half. Or, like beef stroganoff, I would make a regular size meal, and then Mike would take it to lunch, and I would eat it for lunch the next day. Like rolls, these rolls will last three or four days at least, if they last that long. You don't eat them first. And just put them in a Ziploc bag, and those will last really well. Um, let's see, what else do we do? Did we do? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, like if I got a roast like this, then I cook the roast on one day and this is, there's, there's nothing special for cooking for two. You just use the same principles, just make smaller portions. So like with this roast, I would get a smaller roast, but I would cook the roast for one night, the next <coughs> night I would make beef and noodles, the next <coughs> night I would make beef stroganoff, and the last night I would make stew. So you've got four meals there and you don't have to do a ton of cooking to get your meat. So it says they're growing boys and it'll only get worse. Yes, we have experience. Yeah. <coughs> um, That's for sure. Bonnie said, I like the cooked hamburger in the bread bag tied up in sections and I plan on doing that. I think this oh, is that a tip yes, that we have. Yes. Can yep. you freeze Crisco slash shortening? Yes, you can freeze Crisco and shortening. And Stephanie said your candle did turn out great. Thank you. I really like it. I was thinking it was pretty cute. Now that I think hey. about it, you guys should sell coupons. Sell coupons for what? Yeah, like if people buy your cookbook, your Dining on a Dime cookbook, or like a Dig Out of Debt cookbook, then they can get Dining on a Dime for like half. Mm. I mean, Dining on a Dime for like half I think. Karen said the mug is festive for February. Yes. That's yeah. what I was thinking. I need to find the other ones. Mom brought me a whole bunch and I can't find them. And Lorelai ah! says, Tara, I'm treating myself to your book for my birthday. <clears throat> Yay, Lorelai. Thank you. Yay. Uh, oh, we already answered the mop head question. Or we didn't. Or we're not going to? I don't know. Well, BJ didn't want me to say what he's doing, but he's doing a video with the mop head. Oh. So stay tuned, 007K yes. on YouTube. Uh, Pam says, are you having a Valentine's Day sale? I'm living on a dime, being frugal, but I need your book. <laughs> <clears throat> Sullivan says, I made potatoes tonight out of leftover mashed potatoes. Okay, they're so darn good. Hubby loves them. Frugality can be fun. Ew, hubby. No. Actually, fried wrong. potatoes sounds really good. Aww. I haven't had those forever. And Melissa says, you guys seem like such a nice family. Oh. Hey, I had a comment yesterday that I'm one of the most laid back ladies she's ever seen. <laughs> She's well, you, well, you are pretty laid back in the sense that when you drop the turkey on the floor, you don't like start screaming and throwing things. You just say, <laughs> "Why well, bring the camera in here? <laughs> I have to Instagram this." <laughs> just kidding. Uh, <laughs> like when I was choking, David just got the camera. <laughs> I must be related to her in somehow. Oh, you must be. <laughs> uh oh, let's see. Okay. Uh, mm. Dave is doing the happy dance. I wonder what that was in reference to. Oh, I was like pulling out some of that stuff and I was like. Oh. Heather asked you to restate where if the where the roll recipe is in the book. Page seventy-five. Oh, and she mentioned uh, you might go. Check the index because it's got it the wrong page It says page, page 77 in the index, but it's actually 75. I'm very sorry. Everybody needs a proofreader. We've had five, six proofreaders. We've proofread it like 20 times. I'll never forget. Weren't we, weren't we kind of writing the numbers differently when we stripped them out at the very, very beginning? Yes. Like 15 years I ago. found a typo on the very <clears throat> first edition of Not Just Beans, which is what the name was. And I found out the toffee recipe had the raw, I did, I think it was like supposed to be a quarter and it was three quarters or something, a typo. Who can spot and, the gnome, the tiny gnome that Lynn gave us last episode? I know, isn't he cute? Mom, so you just cute. spoiled it. So I would go in before I shipped every book and write in there. 
the correct thing for oh, every no. single order. Wow, I bet that version of the book is probably more valuable. Oh, Dave thinks that, okay, so, so Dave used this lotion stick here, and he thinks that we should sell it for $60 because Dave had handled it. <laughs> children are always thinking. And Jim, yeah, I guess and we have so. to split the cost. 30 bucks to Dave and 30 bucks to Mike. <laughs> 30 bucks to Dave and 30 bucks to Mike. Because Dave takes labor to touch every single one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Child labor, and I get paid. That's funny. Sin said, I made the meatloaf recipe and seasoned rice recipe. I'm so addicted to the cookbook, I can't live without it. <gasps> Neither can I. That's why I have 2,500 copies in the garage. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank I tried you to much. make it simple recipes that everybody would eat. <clears throat> There's only one fish recipe in there. I put that in there just for a token, and it's actually really, really good, but most families don't want to eat weird things. Wow, actually... Back in the day, we were all proofreading at different times, and all of us had copies, and I was working at doing television at Washington State University, and go out at lunchtime and listen to Money Matters with Larry Burkett. Yep. <laughs> I was highlighting mistakes in there. Yeah. We would have stacks. So the stack of proofreading paper, because we just printed it all out. And what kind of computer did we do it on? It was an IBM PC Commodore, XT. Commodore 64. And I did Windows, what, 89? No. <laughs> Uh, Windows what? Actually, it was Windows 95. We 95? Up, we upgraded the computer recently to Windows 95. <laughs> but every time I went to save, it would take, I'm not exaggerating, 10 to 15 minutes for every save. It was, but then we had proofreading and I sent, um, I had to send off proofreading to a gal who was doing it for us, but the package was like this thick. Oh, With that's all right. The papers. Oh, remember that? and nowadays we can just make a file. It takes a long time to make the file, but we can make a file and send it to the printer, and they can print it from the file. In those days, we actually had to print it on a printer, yeah. and it would go, <laughs> and then the page would come out after you know thirty seconds. We had to do that for five hundred pages. We'd start it up at bedtime, just let it go. We did. Or for saving, it'd be like, you know what, we've gone so far through this, we probably should save it now, so maybe we'll go to lunch. And we'd hit save, and it would go... We'd come back 20 minutes later. It was still going... 85% 20 minutes later. <laughs> and now today... Hey there, Matthew. And here today, I just hit save, and it Adila. actually saves. I'm calling him later today, though, so stay tuned for that. Uh, oh, oops, did I... Oh, I guess I already told you that one. All right, I'm looking through. So here Mike to see. and I were working on the soap making ebook today. We're getting so uh -oh. close. Lorelai said, "Speaking of romancing your husband, I got your newsletter today. Challenge accepted. I got number three checked off. Oh, very good. <laughs> Yay! You were going to play bingo, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kathleen shared a link for choking treatment. <laughs> Oh, Man, thank you. I need to keep that on the refrigerator because one day I'm going to be choking and nobody's going to be home and I'm going to be dead on the floor. You can do the Heimlich on yourself like over a chair. Yeah, that's what I heard that you can do the Heimlich. <clears throat> but my problem is what happens with me is I get an air bubble trapped nine times out of ten. It's not usually food. It's an air bubble. And I don't know why, but sometimes when I take a swallow, an air bubble goes and it gets stuck. And then I have to pop the air bubble before the rest of the drink will go down. It's like 95% of the time when I'm drinking. I don't know. I was thinking about going into the doctor and having my neck stretched. Or my, my neck stretched. Oh my goodness. That would be weird. My esophagus stretched. Well, your drink just taller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, nice necklaces. <laughs> um, hey, look, uh, like Candace now. I, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They can put a balloon, I guess, in your throat and stretch it. So I was going to do that. Candy, your soap was set today. Thank you so much for waiting. Candy, poor Candy, she ordered a jasmine soap in November. And she was so patient because I didn't get it done because I was, well, I was having a collapse from Christmas. <laughs> uh, Kathleen said she had asked a question and I think we might have missed it. Oh, Kathleen, I'm, sorry. I'm not sure what the question is, but I don't see it. So if it's not the WebMD link that you shared... Um, post it again, please. Candy said someone asked about your roasting pan. I'm wondering too, does your recipe say to seal with foil if no cover? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no. Yeah. Or you can put it in the crock pot. It's just in the winter. I like doing the oven because it warms up the house. And I looked and it doesn't really use 
that much more heat, not that much at all. And so it keeps our heater from going on and off because it warms up the house. So I do, I do the oven during the winter. I'll do the crock pot in the summer. Uh, also, Carol asks with the roast, did I miss how much liquid you put in there or is Oh there... yeah, I forgot to tell you. When I don't put the soup in there, hello. When I don't put the soup in there, I do put about a half to a cup of liquid in there depending on how long I'm gonna go. So if I know at eight o'clock in the morning and it's gonna be six before we eat, I'll put about one cup of water in there with it. I am so sorry about that. Uh, oh, Lindsay said my YouTube unsubscribed me. No wonder I wasn't catching any live shows. Lindsay, that's so frustrating for us and for all the people that produce on YouTube because YouTube is just randomly unsubscribing And they people. won't even admit it's a problem. And we've had some of our viewers have resubscribed like five times and, and they so, continue to get unsubscribed. If you are on our YouTube channel, please resubscribe. I am begging you to please resubscribe. There's a little bell next to it. Click that and that will be getting notifications if you want to know when we're on. I was trying to decide if we should do an email list sending reminders to people, but we're trying to put it on Twitter and Instagram. So if you guys are on Twitter and Instagram, it's living on a dime. And we're trying to pull reminders up on there also. So please resubscribe. They are unsubscribing a thousand of our subscribes every month. So we're getting like 2,500 subscribes and they're deleting a thousand of those. There is no way a thousand people, we are, no, we are lovable. <laughs> There's no way people are deleting us. I mean, I could see if it was like long ago, except every single day I get at least a few people who say, what happened? Why did you unsubscribe me? And I'm not unsubscribing. We anymore. would never, uns well, we would almost never unsubscribe anyone. <laughs> Only if they're harassing us, do we unsubscribe them, which that has happened like once so yes dave so um bandana grandma said isn't nick stretching something they built gallows for nah bandana you're funny by the way i watched your instapot video and you was it chicken you were making in there i watched i watched farmer Meemaw's video on hard boiled eggs and then i watched yours on I think yours was chicken, and that was very good video. So uh -oh. go check out Bandana Grandma's website or YouTube channel and Farmer Mima's. Speaking of Bandana Grandma, she says, "Best romantic gesture from my husband. After watching Shall We Dance, he showed up at my workplace on Valentine's Day in a tuxedo, single rose in hand, and gave me a card, a flower, and a kiss." Oh. <laughs> that is good. Wow. That is very good. So if you're a guy, you've like, never worn a you've only worn a tuxedo for me once. When we got married. What happened? <laughs> you should wear it every anniversary now that I think about well, it. Because well, would you let me buy one? No. <laughs> <clears throat> That's okay. So if we um So on our thing, oh was I going to say oh, I forgot. Um oops. Bunny said, making your meatloaf. And since said, I made the meatloaf today and doubled the batch so good. Yum! That's why I double it because it's so easy just to make it all at once and then I freeze one or two and then I... Weesha's Cottage is has her 51st birthday today. Who? Uh, her mm. name is Weesha's Cottage. Leisha's Cottage? Oh, -E Lisa's Cottage. 51! It's Lisa, just a different spelling of Lisa. Oh, well... Yeah. Okay, you ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. It's going to be a come a day thing Happy birthday to you. <laughs> What's it done? Keep going. Yay, Lisa. Good job. Happy birthday, Lisa. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if this was related to us. Dr. Diane said what happened to the paprika. Paprika. Oh. Okay, that might be somebody else's question. Must be. Uh, Kim said for our Valentine's dinner, I bought some bacon wrapped beef tenderloins marked down half off. We'll have Ooh. that with twice baked potatoes, broccoli, and rolls. And we'll save tons by not going out. Wow, that actually yeah. sounds really delish. We don't ever go out on Valentine's Day. I usually try to make like chicken fried steak is Mike's favorite. We buy tons of candy and just eat that. And the kids have tons of candy. So the chicken fried steak in here mm -hmm. on page... 
Chicken fried mm. steak. Chicken, chicken. Chicken fried steak. Oh my goodness. This is a horrible index. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do we need to redo the index for beef. the description? If you want to look for a chicken fried steak, look under beef. It is on page 183 in Dining on a Dime cookbook. That is Mike's number one favorite dinner. Which one? Chicken fried steak. Yep. It's delish. Number one favorite. So, and I don't make it the normal way, so it's actually very tender and you can cut it with a fork. You don't even need a knife. Heidi said there's a, a different Heidi, uh, said there's a process called esophagus dilation. She said mm -hmm. I get one every six months. Every six months? Oh my. I didn't know you had to keep redoing it. I hope. Because didn't you say your that. grandma had something yeah, like that? Yeah, my great grandma and my grandma and my mom and I all have the same problem, so it must be genetic. Philosophenix said I feel you on the slow computer, Sarah. My husband put open office on my 572 in 2004. I don't know what that is. I would open it up, then go make a cup of tea, and then come back and wait for it to finish loading. <laughs> Oh, well, what's funny because making a book, making this huge book on there, it got to where there was a cursor on the screen in those days, and the cursor would, instead of flashing like this, it would kind of go. <laughs> and we'd think, uh oh, this computer is not coping. But it was the best we had, so we made it work. Uh, Heidi is asking, what's on my arm? Um, I've been assimilated. No, just, uh, this is. Um, I have tennis elbow, so this is one of the things that I'm supposed to wear to try to get over it. Ding. It's not going so well. <laughs> Suburban Hillbilly has been unsubscribed from three channels? Oh, man. I have been it is ridiculous. I do not understand why YouTube doesn't fix this. You would think they would want people watching the videos. They're stupid. Well, <laughs> yet. <laughs> oh, Down what were we, we were going to ask Sue something today. Oh, shoot. What was it? Um, let's see, you're talking about your trip, and... We're getting excited, two months. We were talking about the trip, You're and watching GoPro footage. There was something about going to, ah, uh, England, and I thought we need to ask Sue <clears throat> that. Something that she didn't already talk about at all? Shoot, yeah, I can't remember what it was. Was it a oh, question well, I Oh, well, if I remember, we'll email you, Sue. Bonnie says she's making a granola this weekend. Oh, yum. yum. Yeah, we've been down in some, our granola. Like an hour before the show. <laughs> I ate some with, as a cereal. So, um, mm -hmm. Nifty Thrifty says, feed that man of yours. <laughs> I think because she saw you giving me that. Oh, here, do I need to give you more? Kathleen said, give him or her a book of homemade coupons. Yes. Is that on the list of yes. things? It is? Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, I just got a notification. That's oh, like Kathleen, uh, we missed hers before, but she said, I met a coupon that says a kiss on receipt, mm -hmm. etc. Not a discount on your... Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> Dave didn't translate that right. Now I see what you're saying. Ms. KG Babe says, your laid back approach reminds me of the black and white Julia Child's <laughs> TV show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I blew it. I was going to do a Julia thing, but it... It just failed. <laughs> uh, Bonnie said, use the pie crust recipe last night. It turned out perfect and it was easy. Very good. Can oh. you hand me the rolling pin out there? Actually, Barbara said those, those rolls would be perfect to make sliders for the Super Bowl this Sunday. Didn't think about that. <laughs> Bandana wants to know why should they pay more for Dave's cooties? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rolling that in seasoned salt, am I? Oh, good grief, Tara. Well, it's gonna give it some flavor. Uh, it's cinnamon rolls. <laughs> oh, Tara, kill them. <laughs> okay. Oh, Heidi says I need to order this for when my boyfriend comes back from his deployment. I gave him food poisoning with ramen once. Oh. What? How do you do food poisoning with ramen? I'd say that Whoa, I don't that think that would be like your fault. I would do, yeah. I don't think that would be your fault because... I'm thinking I would be emailing the company. I mean, if you just made it from dry, <laughs> surely there's no way. Uh-oh. Dave? Mm -hmm. What's going on with... Is Facebook okay? Because it says on my end that it's ended. It says my video has ended. Uh-oh. Um, you're supposed to be watching that, mister. Um, no, I was watching. Wait, is this the live version or? Is anybody there? Can you see well, me now? People, well, there are a number of people that were saying it's frozen while I was looking at YouTube. 
Uh, it's, the people that are asking about the book price is twenty one ninety five. Oh no! Is it showing that it's going now? Okay, Dave. No. Anyone see me rolling out biscuit <clears throat> dough that I made too much flour in? So now it's a little stiff, but that's okay. We'll eat it anyway. Okay, we'll just like here. Can I make a special piece of bread where it has my hand print in it, and that's like. And we'll sell it for thousands of dollars. <laughs> See how many people. Well, you need to be responding to the people. Huh? You need you your thumbprint. You think your thumbprint is with thousands of dollars. Where did my butter go? Uh, now what are you making? Who took Now what are you making? Dave, do you have my butter over there? Huh? You have oh, my yeah. butter? Oh. Okay, so now I'm making cinnamon rolls. Lots of, lots of likes coming. Um, Facebook, are you guys seeing us? Because it appears that we're live, but something else said that it was ended, so... Yes, in just a minute. Okay. So if we're still here, this is how I make <coughs> my cinnamon rolls. I get them all rolled out. This says we still have a bunch of... My rolls. dough is pretty stiff because I got too much flour in it. Okay, so... Yep, it says we are still live. Okay. Are we? Okay, so let me roll these out, show you how I do that real okay. quick. Sorry for those of you who have experienced problems with that. We think maybe our internet connection is a problem, so we're, we bought some new hardware to try, but it's not gonna be here till tomorrow or maybe Friday before the show. Okay, so spread your, now my butter's pretty stiff from Watching being you, cold. Watching you, cinnamon rolls. So then I, hey Dave. Yeah. So then I just spread with my butter all over. My butter's a little cold too, cause I just took it out of the fridge. Okay. Heather's asking, where are you going on a trip? Well, Tara's not going, unfortunately, but Ellie and I, our, our daughter Ellie and I, are going to Ireland and Scotland and England. And after watching, in some, April. After watching some amazing video, I am like dying to go now, and I am super upset that mom and dad are not letting me because it's like. Maybe we'll go on a mom and Dave trip. <laughs> that would be weird. I, don't, I wouldn't care though. You probably should take Dad's phone, though, so then we can actually, you know, do stuff. Billy and I were spending a little time getting more specific on the plans, so. Uh, Hope Floats Away says Facebook should be back. But yeah, Facebook is on. Okay. Okay. Facebook. Wait, is Lynn Hope's Floats? Lynn is Hope Floats, isn't she? Yep. Mom? Yes! Check out her channel. Jean said, I think I might have to buy myself the book for Valentine's Day. I've made your honey mustard chicken a bunch of times, and I've even done it with pork chops, and my husband loves it. Actually, that's pretty pretty brilliant. We should mention that to other people that you can modify the recipes. Like taking that honey mustard chicken and applying it to pork chops. Oh, yeah, it's really good. And we have a peachy pork chop recipe in there that you could use on chicken, too. Okay. So let me roll it up and then we'll... Michelle says there might not be any food left for you and Mike to eat for dinner. Thanks for letting us know, Lynn. Lynn says back on but glitchy. Okay, I'm almost done, guys, here. So I have no idea who is on after us. I think it's Simply 7, but I'm not sure for the Homestead Network. Go check out their channel. Um... <clears throat> okay, so now I just split it all up into little rolls. <laughs> and then I will put them in my little pan here. Is that and you, Jack? Yes. What? I thought it was a cat. Yeah. Sandy wants to know how many kids do you have? Five. Okay. Now this actually should make 12, but I made them bigger just because we like big cinnamon rolls. So then I'm going to let this rise. And I'm going to do it in my oven that has uh, heat left. It's, it's not hot. It's probably like 120 degrees or so in there. But there's just a little bit of heat to help make it go quicker and get poofier. And then we will have cinnamon rolls in a little bit before bedtime. Would that be a good bedtime snack? Cinnamon rolls? Rolls? <laughs> Roast? Yes, we name it. All right, guys. says, yummy. It seems so good. Oh, uh, Tammy wanted to know, did you have to grease that pan? Yes, I did grease the pan. I just did it earlier when I was showing everybody what I was doing. So. 
All right. Do you All right. See, I didn't. Oh, go ahead. Is there anything else? I haven't checked the very last of the YouTube, but. Oh, only loud silence says hard talk told me that told my hubby that when you're you choke or food gets stuck, that it can actually make your heart stop. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if my luck, I wouldn't be surprised if it happened one day. Uh, I'd miss you. Are you paid according to the number of subscribers you have? No, we are not paid according to the number of subscribers. We are paid according to how long and how many people view our videos and who watch the ads on our videos. That way. And then we also get paid by selling cookbooks. So, all of you who've bought a cookbook, thank you for helping us keep the lights on this week. <laughs> so, uh, you said Hope Floats always has a show? I think she does. Don't you no, have a... she doesn't. Oh, oh, she doesn't? Oh, I must have got her mixed up with somebody else. Her YouTube channel specifically says, and I quote, I'm too shy to post my own ideas and videos, but I watch uh, other people. And <laughs> that must have been what I saw in there. She asked if it was a three pound oh. roast that you made. Uh, I think it was somewhere around there. Oh, Kathleen said to get notifications on YouTube when you hit the bell, you have to click the checkbox in the pop-up window. Yes, you do. You want to show? So, for, um... <laughs> so, um... Lynn got that for me. Yeah, Lynn got, um, this for Mom. Isn't if you cute? were here last time? On Monday. Yeah, on Monday. Came. It was so super cute. Lynn, that was so nice of you. Thank you. Yes, thanks yeah, very much. Yeah, my favorite part is the, the hat and the face. Yes. <laughs> Lynn got me the cutest things, didn't she? I can't wait to put my sticker on the computer. I'll do that after the show tonight. Okay, guys. Please visit thehomesteadnetwork.com. We are a bunch of YouTubers that have gotten together to do homesteading. I do more cooking than homesteading because I have homesteaded before and I'm too tired to homestead right now. <laughs> but... I appreciate the work that goes into homesteading, <laughs> and um, so maybe one day we'll be back to homesteading again. That could be interesting. Oh, no. Yeah, but the kids will have to do the work. Oh. <laughs> oh no. All right, visit us at livingonadime.com. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That helps YouTube to show us to other people. So every video you can thumbs up for us is helpful. We appreciate it. You guys have a good night. We will see you on Friday. Yep, see you then. Have a great night. Goodbye. And don't forget to romance your husband. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you gotta remember that woman. <gasps> Facebook has ended. <laughs> YouTube has ended with you kissing each other. Mindy says, love watching you guys.